in the remote part of the South Pacific, on the islands of Bongaville and the Solomon Islands, there are a people who break all the rules. They have some of the darkest, most beautiful skin on the planet, and yet a huge number of them are born with stunning natural blonde hair. This isn't Photoshop, this isn't hair dye, and no, it's not what you think. So, how can this be? What is the incredible genetic story written on these islands? Stick around, because the answer is a tale of sun, survival, and a secret genetic handshake that will blow your mind. This is Afterworld. Thanks for watching. Welcome to a journey into one of human biology's most fascinating puzzles. In this video, we are diving deep into the science and history of the Bongevillians. First, let's get our bearings. Bongeville is an island that forms part of the nation of Papua New Guinea, nestled in a region called Melanesia. And that name, Melanesia, is our first clue. It comes from the Greek words melas, meaning black, and nessus, meaning island. So, that means the islands of black-skinned people. For centuries, European explorers were baffled when they arrived here. They saw this striking combination of dark skin and light hair and scrambled for an explanation. Their theories were widely off-base, often pointing to long-lost European sailors or sun bleaching. But the truth, locked away in human DNA, is far more spectacular. Let's tackle the first part of the equation. That incredibly dark skin. This isn't just a random aesthetic, it's a masterpiece of evolutionary engineering. Bongeville sits right near the equator, where the sun doesn't play games. The UV radiation here is intense, direct, and relentless year-round. Now, your skin has a natural defense mechanism against this solar assault, a pigment called melanin, specifically a type called emelanin, the dark brown-black pigment. Think of melanin as a microscopic biological umbrella. The more umbrellas you have, the more protected you are. Over thousands of years, in this environment, natural selection performed its slow, meticulous magic. Individuals who naturally produced more melanin had a huge survival advantage. Why? They didn't get sunburns easily, which prevented infections. They had a drastically low risk of skin cancers, and this is a big one. UV radiation breaks down folate, a crucial B vitamin in your blood. Folate is essential for DNA synthesis and fertility. Low folate leads to severe breast defect. So, dark skin was literally a life or death, reproduce or not adaptation. It was the ultimate built-in high SFP sunscreen that allowed these populations to not just survive but to thrive under the equatorial sun. It's a perfect adaptation to the environment. Okay, so the dark skin makes perfect sense. But the blonde hair, that's where the plot thickens. For the longest time, the default and frank assumption was that these had come from mixing with Europeans, maybe from traders or shipwrecked sailors. But there was a problem. The blonde hair was most common in children, often darkened into brown in adulthood. It didn't fit the European pattern. The locals themselves had their own folklore, suggesting that it was caused by a diet rich in fish or constant exposure to the sun. Then, in 2012, science stepped in with a definitive answer. Geneticists went to the Solomon Islands, took saliva and hair samples, and ran the DNA. What they found was a genetic bombshell. They discovered that the blonde hair in Melanesians is caused by a random single letter change in a gene called TYRP1. What does TYRP1 do? This gene is like a foreman in a factory that produces melanin. It helps manage the type and amount of eumelanin. The Melanesian's version of TYRP1 has a tiny one in a million typo. This means that nature, in its own infinitive creativity, invented blonde hair twice. It's a stunning example of what scientists call convergent evolution, where two completely separate genetic paths lead to a similar physical outcome. So, there you have it. The mystery of the dark skin, blonde hair isn't a mystery at all. What other human mysteries are out there waiting to be solved? If your mind is even half as blown as mine was when I first learned this, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the incredible stories of our world. Thanks for watching. Stay curious. Shalom. Peace.